here we go again uh, at the risk of uh, turning everybody off uh, i've got more cool stuff to talk about uh, it's my uh, my obsessed garage uh, plate frames right and so i figured i'd tell you the story of this so maybe it might make a little more sense than me hawking some uh, some tchotchkes but uh, this this idea that I have of obsessed garage has changed quite a bit uh, over the last you know several years. In the very beginning, I just did it as a form of therapy, and then that turned into thousands of people watching the stuff, uh, which was just a total shock to me. And then that turned into I built a website so that I could send people to where you need to go buy stuff. Uh, the stuff that I'm using in the garage because some of it's hard to find and some of it's rather complicated uh, and so I made the website in order to, to, to create a, a list of that so I could just send people to uh, and then once I started building the website and created the logo or I had the logo created by a buddy of mine uh, from church he made the logo for me I thought man it'd be really cool to not just put that logo on a site but to have it on a shirt you know I thought that would be sweet but I freaking hate shirts. Like the companies send you these shirts and they put on some Gildan garbage t-shirt uh, and, and you just throw it away. You know, you just, you never use it. You never wear it. And so uh, when I decided to do it, I was gonna make, uh, you know, make, make a shirt on the best t-shirt that I've ever found. That was an American Apparel shirt. They're now made on Los Angeles Apparel. Um, but at the time of building the website and, and, and chasing and looking for a great t-shirt that people would wanna wear, I thought, you know, it would also be cool to have a few other things like, like you know, die cut vinyl with the Obsessed Garage logo uh, and, and then plate frames. And I thought, you know, having a license plate frame would be cool. Uh, the only problem is I hate license plate frames. I hate that thing that curves up and that cuts off half of the darn plate, you know, all the cheap ones that the dealerships put on your car. Or even And then lots of companies sell carbon fiber ones or some shiny ones with blinky lights. And I just, I just never like plate frames. And so I'd buy one. So this, is, this has been the last 15 years of my life. I'd buy one, probably 20 years. And then I'd hate, I'd put it on and I'd kind of do that like half cocked look at it, you know, from 20 feet away and eh, is it okay? And then I'd drive around with her for a few days and every time I'm walking up the car, I'd say that sucks and I'd take it off and just go back to a bare plate. And I've done that half a dozen times where I'd go on the internet and pursue looking for, I tried the one with the, you know, with the glossy finish so that they can't take a picture of your plate frame. I'm not sure why that matters, but I'm not blowing through any tolls or anything. I just, it, the, 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 the frame looked decent, but those are kind of goofy. Uh, and, and, and essentially I've gone through all these different iterations and tried so many different frames. And I always kept coming back to no plate frame, no plate frame. And I'm not sure why I'm the only, I'm probably not the only psycho that cares about this, but uh, apparently, apparently I, I care about it a lot. And so while I'm making the t-shirts, I set out to find a frame that I found that I like that was on my M3. So back in 2011, I bought a, a, a dine-in middle racing exhaust. It was 2,500 bucks for the thing. Shipping was like 300 bucks. They had a, a frame that was really slim looking, but it was 40 bucks. Might even have been 50. I think it was 40. Uh, and I guess spending the three grand that I was spending on the exhaust stung enough that I just said, screw it. I threw the $40 plate in there as well. I'm like, let me just try that. You know, I was already numb to the fact of spending so much money. And so I threw the plate frame. I probably wouldn't have bought it otherwise because it's, you know, 40 bucks. And so I got that frame. Actually, I have that frame right here still. I still have it. It's the, I think I do. Yeah. Here it is, my original dining frame, right? And so I bought this and I'm like, this is perfect. You know, it doesn't cover up the letters. You know, most plate frames, they come up and they do one of these things and they come down and they put some goofy, you know, stuff or lettering and it's just it's just never worked cuts off the letters of your plate I just that's that's what's always bothered me it just doesn't you know it, it just didn't work right that wasn't wasn't right and all the other plate frames I bought they were always some cheap like either too shiny or or just not clean there's some Chinese made thing and so uh, uh, the, this dining was uh, even though it was 40 bucks was uh, you know was perfect it was exactly what I was looking for it looked great it was slim didn't cut off all the lettering of my plate at least you know most of it was 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 not exposed the only problem is 
you know, on BMWs that had four holes, um, but you know, some cars only have two, like my S2000 only has two holes. And so I would just, you know, I would, my, luckily I'm a BMW, I had the dining plate, just w worked out, worked out okay. And so uh, while I'm chasing the t-shirts, I had uh, my buddy Josh, who was helping me with shipping at the time. I said, hey, can you, tr let's, let's try to find this thing. And so he found a company. There was a company out in California. It's called uh, Kami Saska uh, that makes these frames. And he said, look, it, these look just like it. I bet you Dynans is made on theirs. And, uh, and sure enough, I, I mean, I'm assuming they were made by the same company because it's the only company I've found that does it. Um, but they, you know, I was able to, able to buy them. Now, the problem is at the time, I didn't think anybody would buy them. You know, they're 40 bucks, 50 bucks a piece. I marked it down to 40. It really needed to be 50 because they cost me, it was either 23 or $26 a piece. And I was only making like 25 at a time because I didn't know if anybody would actually buy them. You know, and I was, you know, I'm paying for all this, all this stuff out of pocket, not, not knowing if anyone was going to buy any of this crap. And so the, the, I had the plate frames ordered there. It was this one. And my buddy Wes made the made the logo, um, so you can see it's the same. You know, it's the same plate frame as the as the dining, and uh, I wanted it in black. And because I can only you know order small quantities, I just decided to do the four hole only. And uh, and you know they they were really expensive, and I got lots of crap for it. But um, this well shoot, this is tagged uh, 8 15 2016, uh, so this would have been one of the newer ones, um, but. The, the original ones, you know, I sort of launched them, I want to say, in late, late 2016, yeah. Yeah, so this, yeah, this would have been one of the original frames. So this, I had this made, this would have been an original one in August 2016. I think I sold my first plate frame probably that, you know, the next month, September, October, something like that. And I was selling them at 40 bucks. But I always wanted to do it where, you know, the Obsessed Garage logo is certain lettering and I wanted the lettering to be the same. You know, so I wanted it to be consistent. And so I went to my buddies Danger Brain, who are my, um, my graphic designers. They, they do all the, the branding for Obsessed Garage. And, uh, and I wanted to come out with a, a, a more consistent looking version with the brand. And so we had it redesigned here. Uh, I'll put a, I'll probably insert a picture, but uh, let's see. So you can see we did the bolt. And then you know did the obsessed garage lettering in the you know in the the, the I guess the obsessed garage font which is I think it's Montserrat uh, which is a you know a rather uncommon but it's just the font that I don't know just speaks to me seems seems to work so now because I'm able to buy in bigger quantities because the store is much more profitable I sell lots of, lots and lots of stuff now. Um, I can buy a bigger quantity, so the price has fallen quite a bit. So now the frames are 25 bucks a piece, which is still expensive for a plate frame, but I think that's a little more palatable than 40. Uh, and, and the only reason I'm able to do that is because I bought a crap ton of them. And so the other thing I was really adamant about, I wanted to have four hole and two hole. And so we have um, both polished, or I guess not polished, brushed. So we have brushed aluminum with black lettering uh, and two hole and four hole designs, which is important depending on the car that you have. Uh, and then we have black in two hole and four hole design. The two hole looks really clean. This is what we're gonna put on the Raptor here. Uh, but the, the two hole version looks great. Now you have the option, and as much as I wanna sell you crap, I wouldn't buy these because I don't like how they look. Uh, but we have these little, you have the option to, and I, I took them out of the, fr out of the frame to save some cost because these things are like five bucks or something or two, you know, 250 a pair. I think my cost on them is like two bucks so I'm not making a bunch of money on them. Uh, but these are the little black little uh, frame cover thingies uh, or, or hardware hiders they're called. Um, I don't like these things um, so uh, I wouldn't suggest you buy them but if you want to you can certainly do it. I think they stick out a little too much and then you know for instance at the, with the Raptor the hardware, and I'm sure we could get different hardware. The hardware that you know, the, the standard mounting system, doesn't doesn't work. You know, it it, it doesn't fit. 
the other thing is they you know they sold they have the option to have a hardware kit but but um, again it doesn't every car is a lot of every car seems to be different there's not like one standard bolt size or, or screw size so so I decided to just let you use whatever you use what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna then paint these black you know so I'm gonna paint this that the, the the, you know, the hardware here, I'm going to paint these things black and so, you know, they'll look clean, right? Uh, so actually I'm going to do that right now while we're off camera. And then we're going to go out and we're going to mount, uh, mount the plate frame and show you what it looks like. So anyway, I know you didn't ask for it, but that's the whole story. Obsessed Garage plate frames, they're sick. Uh, let me show you, actually, might as well show you what it looks like with the plate in it. Uh, so it has little, you know, little tabs here in the back just to hold the plate on mainly so that you can mount it. Uh, but the advantage is that when you mount it, I can get it so that all my lettering stays exposed, right? Even the four hole, the four hole will cover it slightly, just depending on what your state says. But notice the four hole, as I, you know, I can kind of position it and center it up so that you know, the sunsh sunshine state here fits. Let me see if I've got another plate. I got some other plates sitting around here. I think these are all Sunshine State. Yeah. Here's my old 9K flat six plate frame. Maybe I should do a giveaway. <laughs> so, so there you go. Let's see what what Florida looks like. This is the GD350 plate. I'm not as big of a fan of, and if you're lucky, you have a two hole, it looks so clean. Uh, I'm not as big of a fan of, I guess it would be dependent on what color your plate is uh, or what color your car is, but I like the black much better personally. But these are clean looking, you know, especially if you had some, let's say you had some brushed wheels, like if you had a GT3 with the regular, um, plat or the regular colored wheels, I think, you know, maybe this would match nicely. And it's probably coming out a little shinier in camera than it is on person. In person, it, it is, you know, much cleaner looking than that. So anyway, I'm gonna go paint these real quickly and I'll come back to you and we'll mount it on the truck and show you what it looks like. We're gonna do this a little bit more cautiously than my buddy Adam LZ, who just spray paints in his garage with the car sitting there. I ain't, I ain't doing that. So I'm gonna take a box. This is some Rust-Oleum. This is Rusty Metal Primer. I'll do, stand this up like this. I'm gonna stick these in the box. Hit these with some primer, and then I'll hit them with some flat black. I don't want to be anywhere near my Raptor or GT3 to get any overspray on them. All right, so we'll let that primer sit and then we'll come back and hit it with some black and then we'll mount it up. All right, made a quick wardrobe change. I think these are dry. All right, so we'll let that set up, probably put another coat on and then we'll mount it up. Let's see what these things look like. So here's the silver. Now the Raptor has a two hole spot and my bolts aren't dry yet. So there's the, there's a the silver one. Let's see how that looks. So there's the silver. That's silver brushed, brushed aluminum. Gosh, the two, the two hole plate looks so clean down here. Love it, looks sweet. So I'll let my bolts dry up and then call it a day.
All right, so there's our, our plate frame. Uh, I think it looks great. I'm excited about it. Uh, I'm going to swap out my old ones, put all the new ones on, and uh, maybe I'm going to keep the old ones for nostalgia for uh, 10 years from now when uh, Obsessed Garage is a global conglomerate. <laughs> that, uh, that I'll have my original plate frames, which is one of the very first things that I, I decided to, to offer to people. So here's the old frame on the RS. It's a you know, four bolt, uh, four, or four hole version. Uh, it, uh, the plate frame's the same, just the logo's a little bit different, but just to give you an idea you know, what it looks like on a, a little bit different bumper than the truck. I'm gonna keep this black, obviously matches all the black and white trim. Uh, I've got a, a ordered some vinyl so I can cut this out and put a, I'm gonna put a Villanova V on here and make my own Florida Villanova plate, which should be cool. So what happens when the, when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. 